Now we are done with the primitive data types that we have in Apex and it's the time for something very unique and very different that we have in Apex as a data type and that is S objects, S small and then the objects. So let me explain you what S objects exactly are. So S objects are basically used to represent a single record in Salesforce database into Apex. So it might sound a little bit confusing, but let me explain it to you a bit further. So imagine uh, like, okay, not imagine, uh, some of you who have already worked into Java or C Sharp or any other programming language, remember you used to first establish a database connection with your database and then fetch the records and then do all the processing in your uh, programming language like whatever it was Java or C Sharp, you used to do that, right? But in Apex, you do not really have to create any database connection with the database. It is already integrated with the database. So you can just simply like query the records from the database and get it into the S objects. So let's understand how it actually works. So imagine this is your uh, database. Give me a second. Let me use my pen first. Imagine this is your database, right? And you're like fetching the fetching a single record from this database so this record you're fetching in here apex so the record that you have fetched from the database is uh, and coming into the apex is coming in the form of s object that's exactly what is what it is and s object basically stores all the information related to that particular record which means all the field values all the uh, yeah, all the field values that are there in that particular record and all the other properties that we have set for that particular record which actually store, gets stored into the field value but we are not going to go further into it but this is how exactly it works and this is what exactly S objects are. So let's come back again and understand what exactly S object is. If you want to represent a single uh, record into the Salesforce database you are going to use S object data type that's all what it is. Now let's have a look at the program uh, that how we can create an S object or a S object and uh, how we can use it to do different different stuff in Apex. So over here I have a simple program which basically explains you that how you can create an S object and assign field values to it and use it in your Apex or basically how you can create a Salesforce objects record in Apex with the help of S object data type. So just have a look at this line, this one I'm talking about account a1 is equals to new account parenthesis open parenthesis close and then semicolon so let me explain you what exactly it is so account basically we have a standard object called as account in salesforce so to represent a record of account object we need to use s object data type which is account over here so we have specified that s object data type account and over here we have specified the reference uh, variable uh, which will refer to that s object record or s object uh, yeah, S object which will uh, be assigned to this particular variable. So this is A1 and then equals to and then the new. New is basically the operator to create a new S object and after that S object data type and then the parenthesis. So what exactly it is doing is it is this like this complete statement is, statement is creating an uh, S object and assigning it to the A1 uh, this one A1 reference variable which is of s object account data type this is exactly what it is and similarly for contact object we have contact c1 is equals to new contact so this will be this can be considered as a account objects record and this can be considered as a contact objects record in apex so in apex you use s objects to represent the salesforce databases objects records okay now let's see that how we can assign uh, different different field values to these records. So obviously record cannot exist without a field value, right? There needs to be a, some, some field that we, uh, field is basically the place where we store the information. Like if you have account object over there, what is the name of the account? Uh, what is the phone number of the account? What is the email of the account? Uh, like which type of company it is or which type of customer it is. Different different kinds of information we store into the account object and these information gets stored into the fields. So now if you want to it's like set a value in that particular field using s object data type in apex itself how are we going to do that that is what i'm explaining over here to you so if you want to assign field values to contacts s object this is how you're going to do it first of all let me explain it to you there are two types or two ways to assign a field value to uh, a s object number one through constructor 
so while you're defining or while you're creating an uh, a s object you can define the field values over there itself and those field values will be automatically assigned as a field to that particular what s object and then it will be assigned to the s object record or s object uh, reference variable so over here look account a2 new account name is goes to amazon so name is a field which is there on the account object and i am assigning amazon as my account and this complete s object will have name fields value as amazon and similarly over here with contact i have contact c2 is equals to new contact and then in the parenthesis i am specifying different different fields like fields value basically so first name is a field and its value is mad yeah mad and last name is also a field of contact and its value is max so the name of the contact is mad max and okay so this is how basically you assign the field values uh, to an s of to yeah to a s object i don't know why i'm saying n s object but still a s object uh, again but these all are standard objects and the standard fields like name is also a standard field first name is also a standard field last name is also a standard field if we want to assign a value to a custom field this is how we are going to do it with the help of uh, underscore underscore c so like even if it is a standard object in a standard object we also have custom fields so custom fields uh, like if you want to assign a value to a custom field uh, in a s object then in that case you have to like use the fields api name and then proceed or like add underscore underscore c at the end of it and then assign the value with the help of equals to operator and then the value so languages is the custom field which is there onto the contact object and i am assigning its value with the help of languages underscore underscore c and this underscore underscore c basically means custom uh, and then i am specifying equals to and then the value that i want to assign to it like this that's how basically it works the second way of assigning a field value to a field in s object is using dot notation what dot notation so over here i uh, i have used this dot notation to assign the field values to different different s objects so for account a2 i want to change the name from amazon to flipkart so this is how i'm going to do it a2 dot name then equals to flipkart so this is dot notation so this is the s object and then with the help of dot i am referencing the field of this s object which is name and then i am assigning a value to it similarly if i want to assign a different uh, fields value on the same s object i am going to use a2 again with dot operator and then the fields api name and then the value which i want to assign to this particular field this is how it basically it works and for the contact object obviously c2 dot first name is equals to mad c2 dot last name is equals to max c2 dot languages underscore underscore c is equals to spanish so uh, like this is exactly similar or will work exactly similar to this one it's your choice if you want to uh, assign the field values while you are creating the s object you can do it in the constructor but if you think that uh, i do not know what the values are but there is definitely going to be an s object and the field values will be assigned later in the program then in that case use the dot notation so up till now we have created s objects for standard objects and standard objects uh, i mean accounts contacts opportunities leads so like as we have created in this program for accounts and contacts we can also create it for other uh, other standard objects as well like opportunities and leads but what about custom objects how to create a s object for a custom object so don't worry i have a program over here to explain it to you so in this program uh, if you'll see like i have a custom object which is called as student and uh, if i want to create a s object for the student uh, object or s object record in apex uh, for the student object then in that case i'm going to use the s object data type as student underscore underscore c and again you all know what does underscore underscore c means custom right so if you want to store a custom objects s object then in that case you have to use student underscore underscore c and then the variable in which you want to store its reference and then new and then instead of account or contact you just need to write down student or whatever the object name is and then underscore underscore c that's all that's all how, uh, what you have to think about or what you have to take care of while you're creating a uh, s object for a custom object and similarly if you want to assign the field values in inside it 
so i am assigning a field value which is custom so in this custom object i have a custom field called as student name so it's a custom field and custom field needs to be uh, like uh, like uh, after the custom fields name api name we need to add underscore underscore c as well and this is how we can assign a simple value to it so that's all about s objects with standard objects and custom objects